Uh, hello, dear Open Door participants. Uh, we are very gl glad you joined the Open Doors Olympiad webinar uh, with the representatives of the university's organizers. And um, my name is Anna. I'm a project manager of Open Doors Graduate Scholarship Project. Uh, here today, I have two speakers. Um, it will be Anna from the Far Eastern Federal University. Hello, Anna, and uh, Tina from the University of Tumen. Uh, so first, uh, let me share some housekeeping details about today's webinar. Uh, first, uh, it will be helpful uh, if the uh, you as an attendee uh, will change the name tag for your name and country for we to know uh, from where you are and uh, your name to address your question. Uh, during the session and presentations, you will be able to write your questions in the Q&A section and we will answer the questions related to the universities uh, whose representatives are here today. So um, at the end of the webinar, we will have the uh, Q&A uh, session with the representatives of the universities and we will try to cover all the questions. We will uh, answer them in writing. Uh, but uh, some questions will be also answered uh, by our representatives today. Okay, so uh, now I'm starting uh, my part uh, and uh, I will uh, share important information about the Olympiad and its stages. This is the seventh year of Open Doors, which is organized by the Global Universities Association uh, with the support of the Ministry of Higher Education and Science of the Russian Federation. Uh, last year, about uh, 80,000 participants from more than 190 countries submitted their portfolios uh, to join the competition uh, to win the full tuition scholarships for studies in the master or PhD programs in one of the leading Russian universities. Uh, you can participate in the Olympiad in Russian or English, and all stages are organized online. As an Olympiad winner, you can choose to study at any Russian university at the master's level, which offers the program in which you are interested in and where uh, you get admission. But there is an advantage to apply to one of the university's organizers, as they guarantee your admission to the programs which they define for the winners of the Olympiad. The participation in the doctoral track is only possible for future students in one of the university's organizers. In Russia, you can study in Russian or English, depending on the program's availability in English language. The foundation year uh, when you study Russian is also available and is covered by the scholarship. Uh, there are 14 subjects available in the Olympiad. Uh, you are not limited with the number of subjects, uh, though we encourage you to familiarize yourself uh, with the programs and carefully select them uh, when you register and uh, when you submit your portfolio, uh, as you can get a scholarship in just one subject, uh, and even if you get a winner status in more than one. Um, the first stage, uh, with, uh, which is portfolio submission, uh, will last till December 10th. To complete the stage, you should take the entrance test and to complete the motivation letter in the uh, um, chosen subject. Another uh, mandatory requirement is to submit your additional documents. Uh, any additional uh, achievements you upload, uh, such as publications, certificates, awards, uh, to your portfolio will add the points to the final score. The submission uh, of portfolios will become uh, available on November 1st, so don't worry if you don't find the submit button yet. And, uh, till, no and uh, till November 30th, you will be able to withdraw the portfolio submitted if you remember you forgot to upload some important information or uh, you had any updates. On December 10th, those portfolios which were not submitted by the participants will be transferred into the submitted status automatically and uh, um, will be closed for any changes. Uh, the Olympia trials, uh, the exam sessions itself, uh, themselves uh, will be organized uh, from January 9th to January 17th. Uh, and the schedule of the exams is available on the Olympiad website. 
Uh, please know there are several subjects scheduled uh, for one day and, and uh, mandatory registration for the exam is required, so don't miss it. The instructions will be provided and will be available in your participants' account in the Olympiad website where, um, after the participants of the second stage are announced. If you registered for the doctoral track uh, to pursue PhD, uh, the list of prospective supervisors will become available uh, in November. Uh, the rounds of the interviews with, with the prospective supervisors and managers of the doctoral track will take place at the end of February and middle of March. The winners of the master's track are announced on February 9th. And we'll have a couple of weeks, and you will have a couple of weeks uh, to upload the documents uh, for a scholarship uh, in your participants' accounts. Uh, the doctoral tracks winners are announced on March 13, and uh, you should submit the documents directly to the universities uh, where the scientific superv supervision is confirmed uh, as a result of the interviews rounds. Uh, the additional instructions will be definitely provided to you by email uh, and will be available in your participants' accounts. Uh, if you need more information about how the Olympiad is organized, you can go to the website and read the Olympiad review. Uh, there is also the section uh, which is devoted to Olympiad rules. Uh, we have uh, uh, a good section uh, for you to familiarize yourself, uh, which is frequently asked ses uh, questions section on the website, where I'm sure you will find a lot of answers. Uh, you can follow us in uh, Vkontakte and Telegram uh, groups, uh, where you will find um, uh, interesting facts about the university's organizers and useful information uh, about studying in Russia. Uh, if you have any specific question about your exact situation, you can uh, complete the feedback form or send us an email. Uh, please use just one source of uh, communication towards the quick introduction. Uh, and now uh, I uh, would like to invite the representative of Far Eastern um, un uh, Federal University to deliver the presentation. Okay, so thank I'm you, Anna. Yes, hello, everyone. Let me open my presentation. So, oh, dear participants, my name is Anna Volodkina. I'm the director of uh, the Center for International Promotion, Tourism and Protocol of uh, Far Eastern Federal University. And I'm glad to see you at uh, our meeting today. And I'm going to present to you our university and English language programs. So, Far Eastern Federal University is one of the leading Russian universities that located close to the Asia-Pacific region. Our university is a center of international cooperation with many countries in the world. Far Eastern Federal University is kind of a platform which hosts different international events almost every day. Currently, there are more than 3,500 international students from 89 countries study at FEFO. Despite the students, we can be proud of our international educators and the Russian professors because they are highly qualified professionals having the world-level experience. Our university consists of uh, 11 institutes and schools. You can see them uh, on the screen. Schools and institutes are like faculties, just larger units. So yeah, here you can see uh, different areas uh, of uh, education at our university. So now uh, I want you to present uh, the educational programs uh, which we have at our university. And this is uh, master's degree programs in English and uh, they are molecular and cell biology, leadership and governance in public health, Russia in the Asia-Pacific politics, economic security, and international business and project management. So let's start uh, with the first program. It's molecular and cell biology. So the core subjects uh, are such as molecular biology of the cell, 
genet- human genetics, bi- biomedical cell technologies, molecular bioengineering, and etc. And also on the screen, uh, you can see the possible uh, employees' functions and uh, the place where you can work after the education at our university. So if you want uh, to have probably some photos, you can do it. So next uh, program is leadership and governance in public health. And uh, the preparation of the highest category specialists for the new types of objectives solving in uh, professional organization management, scientific research activity in the sphere of healthcare system to provide social health care on the following directions. Uh, this is the public health improving on the base of forecasting and scientific prevention. It's organization and management in the field of social health care and practical work in governmental uh, and non-governmental organizations. The public incidence and death decrease, the management of life quality, including different uh, chronic diseases, it's human ecology, the creation of uh, test systems and uh, biochemical diagnostics, biostatistics, uh, ecological risks of different abiotic nature, which make uh, influence on health, toxicology, psychology, and biochemistry of stressful influential factors of the environment, uh, the fight against very dangerous uh, infection spread, clinical infection, and molecular epidemiology. Uh, behavioral psychology and behavioral animalities prevention and professional activity and professional health support. So this program is designed for people who have work experience in healthcare or who would like to work in the field of health and healthcare, who would like to obtain new professional skills by deepening and expanding the knowledge base in the sphere of patient care, social healthcare treatment of chronic and infectious diseases. Many students studying in uh, such programs already has a medical university degree, but the program does not have uh, profile restrictions. The preliminary terms are the bachelor's or specialist degree. And here you can see the possible employment function, the development and realization of clinical researches, projects and events uh, directed on uh, preservation and strengthening of public health, diseases and virus infections prevention, and possible positions, scientific researcher, manager, the head of medical organization, or the health service social head. So let's go further. Uh, The master degree program, uh, Russia in the Asia Pacific, politics, economic security, uh, is administrated by uh, FIFA's Oriental Institute School of Regional and International Studies, It has a cross-disciplinary curriculum offering courses in diverse fields, such as political science, international political economy, security studies, regional studies, uh, relations uh, Russian studies, law, languages, and, of course, um, intercultural communication. So this program uh, has three basic objectives to provide knowledge about the most important pro- processes and trends in contemporary world politics and in key international regions, which has special emphasis on the Asia Pacific region. The next one is provide understanding of Russia's uh, place and role as a major actor in the world politics, paying uh, special attention to its growing political and economic links with the Asia Pacific. And the last one is uh, to supply knowledge about the Russian Far East and its multi facilitated engagement with the Asia-Pacific region. And this program uh, has, uh, of course, some advantages. So the first one is highly qualified faculty members, including world uh, renowned foreign professors. The second one is special emphasis on the, on the Asia-Pacific region. And the third one, alumni of the program have career opportunities, including employment at government institutions, analytical departments, business organizations, commercials, high education institutes, uh, research centers, and mass media. The next program is international business and uh, project management. 
This program is giving students the knowledge about international business experience and managing the projects. So students as well will study features and the role of major events uh, happening in the Asia Pacific region, trends of forming and developing of different social nets, trade, politics, economics in the modern international business. And this program is for those who uh, wants to acquire and develop certain management skills for cooperation with international partners, who wants to study the best world uh, practices of, un of conducting and managing the business for sustainable development of the company. And also for those who wants to acquire and develop skills for project activity, for creating and implementation of the project taking into account the practice of international projects. And core subjects which are studied, this include critical thinking and research, economics and management adaptation course, the theory of organizations uh, and organizational behavior, project management, research workshop, innovative management, uh, and others. So here you can see our contacts. And uh, if you have any questions about FEFU, our educational programs and the admission process uh, itself, do not hesitate to contact us and choose uh, the best way for you. And we would be happy to answer all of your questions. So thank you for your attention and good luck to the next. Okay, thank you, Anna, very much. Uh, it was a great piece of information provided about the university and the programs uh, are offered for the winners and prize winners of the Olympiad. So um, I would like to uh, invite Tina, uh, who would give us a presentation uh, about the University of Tumen. And Anna, I will also uh, would like to ask you maybe if possible to upload the presentation of the university uh, in the chat because the participants ask about that. Okay, thank you okay. very much. So hello everyone. Um, I'm glad to see you all here. My name is Tina. I work at the University of Tumen International Students Recruitment and Integration Center. And today I would like to, to tell you about University of Tumen. So let's start with the city of Tumen itself. So Tumen is the very first Russian city in Siberia and located approximately in the very heart of Russia and has a, a really nice and rich history. So Tumen has a really great infrastructure with an international airport that actually has flights with many of uh, countries. And uh, as well as uh, not far away from Moscow, so it's only two and a half hour flight from it. Actually, Tumen historically has been uh, very rich in oil and gas. So many people in Russia call it oil and gas capital, but that doesn't mean that is, these are the only things that you can do in Tumen. I'll continue with speaking about the city, as we call it, Tumen is the city of happy people. And uh, it has really great infrastructure that actually is made for its citizens to live comfortably in the city. For example, it has <clears throat> uh, many parks uh, and actually many things to do in your free time. For example, enjoying the biggest embankment in Russia or the biggest drama theater in Russia. And we believe our specialty are the healing springs, uh, yeah, the healing hot springs. And uh, continuing speaking about the university itself, let's start with the general information. So University of Tumen is the fundamental university in Russia, uh, in Tumen, sorry. <laughs> it has uh, 15 institutions, uh, which special, specialize in different fields. And uh, as well as uh, around 2000 international students from almost 50 countries. And continuing with speaking about the university, <clears throat> I would like to present you some of our master programs. And uh, let's start with the programs that are taught in English. 
So the first field is uh, biology with track in biology and biotechnology. And the second one is international relations with track in politics and international studies. Let's talk uh, a little bit detailed about them. So the first one uh, is taught at the Institute of Environmental and Agriculture agriculture biology. So every program at this institution is taught fully in English and it has master programs in uh, plant biosecurity and mathematical biology and bioinformatics, as well as PhD programs in biological sciences. And uh, as well as many research group in different fields uh, that you can choose based on what you enjoy to research. And speaking about international relations, it's also a program that is fully conducted in English. Uh, it has regular internships in leading Russian regional companies and really high employment opportunities. And uh, continuing with uh, the programs that are taught <laughs> at the University of Tumen, I would like to tell you a little bit about the programs that are taught in Russian, because we have plenty of them. But in order to pursue them, you need to take a one year Russian language course so you can fully master Russian language and be able to pursue a master program that is taught fully in Russian. And um, speaking about programs, <clears throat> we have plenty of them. I would like to introduce you the most popular programs among international students. So let's start with the field of business and management uh, with master programs in management, applied informatics, international relations and sociology. And uh, the second field is linguistics and literary studies with majors in philology and linguistics. And uh, speaking about uh, science, we have biology, of course, which is taught uh, in English as well as in Russian. So it, these are like two different programs. Uh, then politics and international studies uh, with fields in international relations and history. Uh, then we have, of course, mathematics and artificial intelligence with uh, majors in mathematics, mathematical support, and administration of information systems, and physical sciences in majors with majors in physics and applied physics. And uh, two more fields to study are chemistry and material science and earth science with majors in ecology and natural management. And uh, the last two ones that are mostly popular among international students are economics and econometrics, as well as education. And speaking about the infrastructure of the university itself, <clears throat> for those who really enjoy uh, science and technology. We have a high tech laboratories that are fully open for all of the students uh, to study in them and are uh, very interesting actually. And for those who are more into uh, humanitarian sciences, we have a really nice and comfortable lecture classes. And speaking about sports, which is very popular in Russia. And we as the university also like to ensure that our students pursue a healthy lifestyle. So we have um, plenty of gyms and other uh, activities for students to really find a sport they enjoy doing and uh, keep a healthy lifestyle. And of course, uh, one of the most uh, interesting things that uh, student wants to know is accommodation. So we as the university provide all of our freshman students with uh, a room in a dormitory, which has uh, fully free Wi-Fi, lounge rooms, private rooms, as well as kitchen with all, all of the supplies that a student need, as well as laundry room and computer classes for studying that are always open for students. And the cost of living in such a university costs around um, 
30 to 55 dollars per month depending on how many people are staying in the room of course and uh, <clears throat> we have calculated all of the expenses that you might have while, when coming to Tumen so you will, can fully understand what it's like to live in Tumen so accommodation as I already said is around is maximum $50 per month. So food expenses are around $100 per month. Insurance expense is $35 per year. And the visa extension that you do right after you come here is $22 as well per year. Medical checkups that you also do once a year are around $90. And internet services, so if you would like to buy a SIM card here, internet service will cost around $7 per month. And uh, speaking about what it's like to be an international student at the University of Tumen, uh, we as the university uh, truly provide everything that we can so international students can feel comfortable in city and uh, in the university as well so we have four different centers that students can address to in while having a difficulty or a problem the first one is association of international students which is um, which consists of uh, representatives from every country that are always ready to help uh, students from its country uh, then we have body program. So body is basically a student that helps uh, all of the international students uh, while doing um, every paperwork that a student needs while when he comes to Tumen. And uh, then we have, of course, visa and migration service support and the international students recruitment and integration center. Uh, as I already said, that's the center that I work in. And finally, speaking about why a student should choose University of Tumen to study a master's degree. So as I already said, the city of Tumen is really beautiful. It's one of the most secure and green cities in Russia. Uh, the university campus itself located in the very center of the city, which makes it makes it like really comfortable and uh, of course we have world-class scientific research laboratories as well as the loyalty program that provides every student discounts uh, approximately everywhere from like restaurants to driving classes and etc uh, the thing that we are most proud of is multicultural student community that we have created here and strong international support system. So if you would like to learn about the University of Tumen a little bit more, uh, please go on our website and uh, learn information about the program that you will like, prepare to a department if you want to study in Russian and the university itself. So thank you all for being here and we are ready to answer your questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tina, very much uh, for a wonderful presentation. We also shared uh, very useful information about the accommodation and other um, services available for international students. Uh, so now I'm asking uh, Anna to join us uh, for qu questions and answers sections. So far we have... Um, uh, some questions related to the um, Olympiad organization. So as I as I explained in the beginning, we will not be able to cover the organizational questions, but I will answer the, the most, most important of, of them and uh, uh, related to this registration stage. So uh, you are asking about the uh, webinars in Russian language, uh, like the series of the webinars we have right now uh, will be in English for the reason the majority of our participants are English speakers. So, um, but you are welcome uh, to contact the university representatives uh, in Russian if you want, and they will answer your questions. 
uh, you also um, have a lot of questions about um, assistance with choosing the university. Uh, so the series of the webinars is devoted uh, to, to that choice. So you can go to the uh, Olympiad website and uh, visit the pages of the universities uh, where you will find the list of the programs available in, uh, in them. And probably it will help you to find your program. So, so far, uh, I ask you uh, to, uh, like to write the questions related uh, to the presentations uh, you've seen. Uh, if some questions uh, remained uncovered, and uh, yeah, I will. Uh, if uh, you also write the name of the university where you address the question, it also will be helpful. So, um, let me go through the list of the questions. So um, there are questions about the doctoral track. Uh, and uh, the participants ask uh, like what uh, what will be available in the universities uh, which are presenting today. So do you have this information to deliver now? Um, are they asking about uh, like medical fields? No, like uh, the, the, the uh, aspirantura, like the PhD programs available. Ah, uh, yes, sure. Sure, we have PhD programs available. Okay, and which areas? Uh, there are many areas. Uh, at the presentation, I talked about biology, but there are also other ones. Uh, so yes, there are plenty of like approximately in every field that a student would like to pursue. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, what ab what about the Far Eastern uh, Federal University? <laughs> what programs yes, will be available have... for the participants in the doctoral track? Mm -hmm. Yes, we also have uh, PhD programs at our university, but they are all in Russian language, uh, and we have different uh, specialties there. So, if you want to check them, please go on our website or contact us. We will share. It this information with you. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, we also have questions about, um, okay, about the uh, additional uh, fees uh, which are paid by the participants. Well, I believe it was covered uh, is, uh, somehow in the presentations, uh, like the tuition fees are fully covered by the government, uh, because you're like, if you get the uh, winner status of the Olympiad, and for some prize winners, it's also available. Uh, more information on the winners and prize winners status can be found in the rules of the Olympiad, which are available on the website, so you can go through them. Um, like regarding, I know that uh, there is also the allow, student allow, allowance uh, is available for the students, so you will be also paid some stipend uh, on top of the tuition scholarship you get. So uh, could you please share the information on this uh, scholarship, not, not scholarship, stipend? Uh, yes, we have it uh, for master's degree. It starts uh, from approximately 3,000 uh, rubles per month, but it depends on your academic uh, success. So if you have uh, good, uh, excellent and good marks, so your stipend, uh, stipend will be uh, more than uh, for others. And uh, also for winners uh, for Open Doors Olympiad, um, living uh, expenses uh, for one semester is for free. So uh, for the next semesters, uh, our dormitory is uh, usually about 4,000 rubles per uh, month. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, another question we have. Okay, the, a lot of students ask uh, whether uh, the gap in studies uh, will matter. So for example, if they pursued their um, bachelor degree like five years ago, 
I don't know, uh, seven or 10 years ago, now they would like to proceed with the master's degree. Doesn't matter when they apply to the university? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, the most important that they have uh, the bachelor's or specialist degree, and of course, the desire to enter the university. Yes, it's the same here. Okay, excellent. Um, there are also a lot of questions about um, about uh, the ability to work during studies. Uh, I know like it's possible to work for the students. Uh, like do you offer any like student services or employment services for international students at your university? We have a lot of uh, volunteering organizations and our international students uh, always participate in uh, international events uh, which is held uh, at our university. So this we can provide for them. Yes, um, it is possible for work for students here because uh, uh, classes for master degree students actually starts in the evening. So you have like a full day free uh, to like work and actually at the university we have uh, a career center that can help that helps uh, all of the students to find a job mm -hmm. okay so there is the question to to main university do you offer uh, uh, urbanization and engineering programs like maybe not in english but Yes, they are in Russian. They are in Russian, yeah. Okay, so yes, today we cover, uh, like we asked the representatives to cover the programs available in English. Yeah, but uh, the representative says that, yes, if you, um, you can start with studying Russian first and then uh, pursue the master's degree uh, in, in Russian language. Thank you very much questions about engineering field actually <laughs> so if you uh if you can share the information like uh, what engineering fields are available at the universities you represent uh not definitely in english yeah but in overall actually we provide a qr code at the end of our presentation so a student can check all of the master and phd programs that are taught in our university because there are actually plenty of those especially that are taught in russian language okay thank you very much we also have programs uh, in engineering sphere and in russian language and we have uh, a Polytechnic Institute, uh, which uh, provides uh, a lot of uh, specialities, uh, for example, oil and gas engineering or robotics. So you also uh, can find uh, the list of our programs on our website. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, there is a question to uh, Un the University of Tumen, uh, do you offer artificial intelligence program? Yes, sure. I've actually said a little bit about it at the presentation. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So uh, the the, if, if you need like any further details, you can, uh, you can contact the uh, representative of the university. I'm also checking the chat section, like whether we, okay. Uh, Tina, can I uh, ask you to upload the presentation of the university uh, yes, in the chat sure. uh, yeah, we'll section? Do yeah, because a lot of participants are asking to have this information available for them. So I see that we have there the presentation of uh, the Far Eastern Federal University. So, okay, there is a question like to how many universities the participants can apply? Well, actually uh, your application is uh, being submitted to only one university. Uh, when you, um, after you get the winner status, you will be able to choose like up to six universities, but your application will be directed uh, to the unit and transfer and all your document documents will be transferred to the university of your top priority of your first choice. 
if for some reason like the problem is not available or you made a mistake, uh, it will be then transferred to the following university. Okay, so um, so there are like a lot of questions about doctoral track. Uh, but as um, as I explained in uh, the introduction, introductory uh, presentation of the Olympiad, uh, there will be a list of the uh, prospective research supervisors from uh, from every university organizer on the Olympiad's website, and it will be available in November. So you will be able to see uh, which exactly uh, research supervisors will be available for you. Uh, so far, you can apply, submit your portfolio, uh, and uh, the scientific research supervisors will be available in every subject area. Okay, so um, we are uploading the presentation. Excellent. So we will wait <laughs> when it's uploaded. Thank you. <laughs> So there are there are questions like whether uh, some participants ask about the Russian uh, the preparatory foundation like here in Russia, uh, do you offer it uh, in uh, your universities or do you use like other universities to uh, to assist you with that? Yes, we have the Center for Russian Language and Culture, and it is located uh, in the city center. And our university is located on the Ruski island, but it's close uh, to each other. And we have uh, preparatory courses for international citizens. So, yeah, you can uh, choose uh, one year for study Russian language and then uh, apply for master's uh, degree program. Okay, thank you. We have a preparatory department where students uh, study Russian for one year. Uh, but not only Russian, but also like courses from their major program, actually. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so I believe we covered the majority of the questions. There were a lot of questions about the... Um, the area of studies at the bachelor level when the uh, uh, when the participants apply for the master's degree uh, is there any limitations and requirements to the bachelor degree uh, if they apply for the master's degree i mean should be should it be in the specific area thank you i can start <laughs> Uh, no, it uh, shouldn't be in a specific area. Uh, it's a bonus if it's uh, in like area that are connect that is connected to their ma master program. But it's like mm -hmm. plus for them as a university, we don't have like such limitations. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, I have questions for uh, Far Eastern Federal University regarding the accommodation options. Like to what what um, what do we offer for international students and uh, how much does it cost approximately? Yes, for all international students, we provide uh, dormitories which are located on Ruski Island on our big and beautiful campus. and. Um, Usually, a uh, double room costs uh, 4,000 rubles per month, but we also have uh, triple rooms. Uh, but usually, uh, we provide uh, double rooms for international students. I believe uh, we covered the majority of the questions. Like, uh, if uh, we couldn't address uh, any of them and you still have the questions to the university's representatives, uh, you are welcome to uh, contact them. Uh, you also can upload, uh, download <laughs> the presentations of the uh, universities. They are available in the chat box. Uh, the following webinars we are going to have uh, next week will be with the representatives of, of Tomsk Polytechnic University and National Research Tomsk State University. So you're welcome to join. Uh, to listen to more information about the programs available for international students and uh, participants of the Olympiad, um, of the Open Doors Olympiad. 
Okay, so far, uh, thank you very much, Tina and Anna. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you to all participants uh, who were with us today. We wish you good luck with the first stage of the Olympiad and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Yes, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye.